understand, I came from the generation of the riots. So in a sense, my generation chased white people out of the city. And we were happy with it because we was all in the black power and everything. And a lot of us was fixed. And I hear it's that white people didn't like us or was racist or whatever. And then that's why I said when the hipsters came and kept approaching me, I'm looking at their grandchildren coming in. I said to my buddies, I said, man, we got to bury the hatchet. I said, and if y'all only see these young white kids who's in downtown Detroit, they're not looking at race. They're they looking at personality and character. I said, this, we need to step out the way. And your generation, man, kicked a lot of that off. I like the area, honestly. Since we've been here at Shinola, I mean, I have personally learned about other stores that have come and businesses that have come. I meet so many people daily that are not from the city and that come down just to come visit our store. So it is a, an amazing feeling just to see that breath of fresh air. Kind of like this, good people was never allowed to be good as a whole to each other. And now, good people are being good. We're very tight knit around here as well. Uh, a lot of people look out for each other here, and it's uh, it's full of artists too. Like I myself, I, this is not the only thing I do. I do uh, photography, makeup. Several people here are in bands, so it's it's you know it's a lot of creativity, not just within the store but outside the store too. Within the past year, uh, Detroit's received a lot of notoriety, and there's there's a, a buzz about Detroit artists, so um, we're attracting a lot, we're getting a lot of young people. Over the centuries, Detroit has proven itself to be resilient, to be hardworking, and to be able to have the ability to overcome whatever adversities and challenges uh, that it faces. I'm really excited to see where Milkhead goes in the next few years. I think we've you know, positioned ourselves well, um, and our growth is really, is really set to go. I think the, the future of, of the arts community in Detroit will just continue to grow, will continue to attract young artists and talent. People want to be a part of our culture here. And I think we'll start to see small pockets happening around the city, and then eventually these pockets are going to grow and connect to the other pockets. Businesses are definitely growing and coming from the suburbs and bringing their businesses downtown so the population here is growing so the need for those things are definitely growing. Um, so I see the future of Detroit being an impeccable city. It's going to be somewhere that people are going to want to live and want to be a part of and I think it's going to happen really fast like in the next five years. My dream is that arts and mental health would be way more valued and way more thought about and way more supported in communities. My dream is to make a product, so if it's communications from MoCAD or a business or something, personally, that both benefits the citizens of Detroit and connects the suburbs. I basically just want a cafe that you know is a cafe during the day maybe breakfast lunch and then at night time you know have local artists almost like a urban art commune but not so strict <laughs> my dream is that you know detroit returns to its rightful place of prominence uh, in the pantheon of great American cities and, and great cities of the world. I would just like to see major corporations come down here. Um, the living, I, I would love to see that increase. Um, I would love to see on the political side of it for that whole thing to just be cleaned up and you know kind of get a lot of the crime out of the way and I mean it's everywhere but just to really nurture it here. Um, I would love to see the city shrink and to use the extra uh, city for farmland. Right now, my dream is just to continue to be a part of Detroit, be active in the community, um, 
get more involved with youth programs, keep working with beginner runners, and, and helping make small changes in, in the day-to-day -day lives of uh, residents in the area. And just keep being a positive force. When it's my dream? Oh man, I, I swear to you, the things that matter most to me, I'm seeing. I never thought I'd live to see a black president. I never thought that I would see probably a white mayor get elected with an 80% black population that we as black people will put down our arms. And believe it or not, that was very hard for a lot of us to do. I think the whole Southeast Detroit, Michigan is taking that path and you young people have a lot to do with it. I put it like this, if I die right now, I would have no regret. And I think the world is on a path that I think will, will meet Martin Luther King's dream. I, I truly do. And for me to live and see what has happened, what you guys have done, I thank God that I live to see it. This is the Cobo Center Station.